we'll get started here. Thanks everyone for tuning in today for Outshinery's webinar. Uh, anytime we get to chat with Lori, we're always pumped. Uh, she's just such a bright and colorful spirit and we really enjoy working with her. Um, just a few housekeeping things. Um, if you have any questions during the webinar, feel free to pop them in chat or the Q&A box. Uh, we will be going over that uh, at the end. There'll be plenty of time for questions. Uh, and without further ado, here is Lori. Oh, and by the way, I'm Tessa from Converse 7. There you go, Lori. Hi, Tessa. Thanks so much. All right. Hi, everyone. Let me just share my screen here and get started. All right. Please let me know if you have any issue with the screen. I'll let you, Tessa, monitor the chat. So today we're going to be talking about why there's never been a better time for better images in the wine industry and beyond. So just a little bit about myself, like I mentioned, I'm calling from France right now. I'm originally from France, but I do call Vancouver, Canada home. Uh, I was born in Burgundy, so I started drinking at a very young age, which in France, by the way, is actually totally accepted. Uh, and my background is I've been designing wine labels uh, for the last 16 years. So that's really where I come from. And I really experienced firsthand my own frustration when it comes to product imagery, uh, but also my clients um, more and more. So let's get in the meat of it. Did you know that 83% of people shopping online say that photography, like the image, will be influencing more than anything the purchasing decision? Like human brains can make like split decision on what it is they're looking at and if it you know pleases them in less than 50 milliseconds. It's pure biology. Uh, vision is a most uh, developed sense. But what it does mean is the saying judging a book by its cover, or in this case, judging wine, is so, so very true. And it's something to watch out for. So like this was a study by Amazon, but if we go a little bit closer to you know, our world, our industry, and look at like a study that Drizzly did uh, last year, what they discovered is quality images yields three times more add to cart, you know, by click on the button that we all want um, versus like poor quality or subpar uh, or even no images at all, three times. What's more, they made it uh, affect the algorithm. So like the product ranking and all of this, so it appears higher up on the search because it has, um, it just, it's a feedback loop, if you will. People add it more to the cart because it's uh, like better images. And of course the algorithm will then prompt those results higher up on the page because it's just self-rewarding. Once more, they now make it a prerequisite. It is mandatory for brands to have their product images a high quality to be featured in an like email um, newsletter or targeted emails uh, from them. You can be selling, but if you don't have the quality image content, um, they won't be um, publishing you in their um, email communication, which is a total missed opportunity. I'm very aware that not everyone is on Drizzly and uh, I'm not here to debate um, the business model, but I just think it's very interesting. They're really tapped in the world of alcohol and this is what they see on their own platform. So let's dive in. Like you can drive conversion, aka sales, with quality visual product content. So in this case, like Tracy here with the Snoop Dogg. Now we all know it is a bit, and let's put it mildly, tricky, tricky to get this quality visual content for wine bottles. That's just hard. Like you can spend the money, you can spend the time, and it just doesn't always deliver. It's highly reflective, it's transparent. Sometimes I jokingly refer to it as taking a selfie in a house of mirrors. And it never ends. Your winemaker is super talented and you used to have a lineup of like six skews, six varietals, and then suddenly like, oh, let's just do a Malbec for the fun of it. And that means you have to get yet another image that needs to be consistent with the previous one. And it's pretty much impossible. Um, so this is what an optimized um, visual product content friendly uh, website, like DTC website could look like, um, for example, is like clear, engaging, legible uh, bottle shop. 
here's a bit that closer up so you can like have a look at it. It's consistent. You can look at the lighting. There's no like weird reflection. We don't see the back label going through. It is all optimized to make the consumer confident that this is a product that they want to learn more about. This is a product of quality. This is a product you can confidently add to their cart and check out. And they won't have any surprise when it actually lands at the doorstep. So my first recommendation would be to really uh, get consistent and legible product photography for every SKU. And I would go beyond uh, as well, really try to match your, um, yeah, yeah no, not try, please do match uh, your vintages. Again and again, uh, sometimes we see imagery, let's say that sells the 2020 Pinot Noir, but the image is that from 2016. It may not seem much to you after all, it is the same label, uh, but in the eyes of the consumer, there is a discrepancy, a bit of a dissonance, um, and it just kind of like, it's a little bit of a flag um, that way. If you don't want to maintain um, like the vintages, I really recommend then just remove them altogether. Uh, that's just, you know, uh, easy that way. No, I would be amiss if I weren't quickly introducing uh, Outchannery, the created, the company, sorry, that I created. Um, and this is what we do day in and day out. We do bottle shots uh, using uh, computer generated imagery. So what you see, you know, the dinosaurs in the movies, uh, we take the same technology, but bring it to uh, the alcohol industry. So the, the nightmare of getting this product image again and again consistently um, is over. I know. Here is the URL, so of course, I encourage you to check it out. So why uh, CGI 3D product photography? CGI, again, standing for computed generated imagery. Um, so it's multiple, hence CGI. Really a couple of, like, there's a lot of advantages, but I would like to highlight a few important ones. First, it's 100% online, which, to be told, is a bit sad for me because I do not get delicious bottles sent to my studio for photography, uh, nothing. Uh, we just need uh, answers to a short questionnaire and your uh, exact uh, label size that you send to print. But technically well, you could still ask for those bottles, can't you? <laughs> it, yeah, I could, I could. But being in Canada and a lot of our customers being all over the world, like it's just, uh, it can be tricky for, um, you know, reason, like shipping reason. Uh, but yes, please, if you, I will always take cases of wine sent to the Outchannery address. Absolutely no problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's more as well is CGI allows this control environment that wine bottles so desperately need, right? Um, as I mentioned, it's reflective, it's got all these things, uh, but within the 3D environment studio, uh, total control. What's more, it is very versatile. So hand in hand with not sending physical samples, that means I'm not drinking your product. That means you can come back to me or to our channel, our team uh, six months later and ask for a beauty shot or a group shot with that product. It will still be there. I would have not drank it one night at dinner because I was out of wine. Uh, so that's just really interesting that way too. And overall, it delivers better value. Uh, both in terms of time and um, like it takes way less time, like your time and overall like, length, uh, and also like uh, cost wise. For example, one thing that we do at our channery, because I know it's a nightmare and I mentioned it earlier, when you start working with us and if you remain an active customer, we take care of all your vintage updates for free. And we even go so far if your rosé, for example, change a bit color, which often happens year over year, um, we will also adjust that for you. you just send us a request and off you go. Second point that I wanted to point out, kind of building on uh, what we just discussed, the idea of like standing out on the digital shelf. What I mean by that is, especially nowadays, like we can be sometimes a bit guilty of looking to be too much in the bubble of wine uh, and what other wineries, other wine websites are doing. Nothing wrong with that. However, consumers today, they don't just shop wine online, if anything, they shop everything else and they may try to think of shopping wine. Um, so here's uh, something that you really need to consider is like, how does your product not only stand out amongst the wineries, like the competition, but amongst all the other CPG um, products. So one thing um, that was like, really um, insightful, did you know that 70% of consumers need three, at least three images to buy online? 
confidently. And it's really interesting because that study is when you started looking around, you actually see it everywhere. So here, for example, what could be three images. So this is all the same product, a cute little can, here's the front, here's the back, and it's actually delivered in the four pack. As a consumer, I see this on the product listing, I have absolutely zero surprises. This is exactly what I'm gonna get. I'm confident I can click add to cart and I'm excited. Yeah, I actually want to print this really, really well. Look at that three number again. This is like a Walmart page. Again, they're not obviously DTC, they're like a, an online retailer here, but they optimize every single um, product, um, <clears throat> every single like, wine listing has three images, but they kind of get away with it. They get creative. They only require two images and then they have a close up that you see here, um, um, like we call like an e-commerce style, which just allows for better legibility of the label. So they know three is a magic number, at least three. We'll discuss like a bit later how you can add even more for even more impact. Um, recapping here a little bit, um, really having quality visual image that are at your disposal allow you to control your brand image beyond your own DTC website experience. I'm very aware this is a Commerce 7 webinar. So of course, I would imagine that you use uh, the platform, but your images, your visual content live beyond your website. And it goes even beyond, I would say, um, your, you know, like retailers or like distribution channels. This is also images that you give when you have media requests, images that you give um, your distributors and so on and so on. Like it has, it has a long life. Like if you, can, if you give quality images, um, you control the narrative. What's more, one thing we have noticed um, is when you have from up like a write-up, maybe a blog or even, even like a printed um, you know, article, I can tell you often they may do like, oh, like here's like three wines that we like for this summer. The first one that would be presented and that would have the image, you know, will be the one with the great, you know, the great photography. Uh, we've seen that again and again, like on the list, best, best imagery wins because they know. Uh, also, I really encourage you to think like optimize for speed to market. Like it's all about like managing um, the length of things. We all know that often we want visual content even before uh, the wine is bottled. Uh, it's not doable, of course, if you do it uh, the traditional like um, product photography way, but with CGI uh, like solutions like our channery, we have more and more wineries that get all the visual assets before the wine the bottling truck, sorry, uh, even went by the winery. Um, so it just kind of really helps that speed to market and share with all your partners. And really think on these channels that I really want to reiterate an image leads beyond just your website um, or even your social media uh, and those channels. So the point number two that I would like to bring home is to really try to execute an exceptional online shopping experience for your shoppers wherever they happen to be. And then one thing that gets me really excited and I hope it will for you too. I mean, I love bottle shots, don't get me wrong, but they're going so far. Like they're just like, I'm purposefully like they're kind of like stripped down, highly legible, like ID photography, if you will. So that's great, they're necessary, but they don't go, um, they don't convey any emotion, any context. Um, so what's interesting, and I would like to encourage you is to really think as well and making it clear um, what else you offer. Uh, we are entering obviously the holiday season right now, so gift boxes are in full swing. One thing that I really watch, would watch out for is we see often on binary websites, all the images of bottle shots look really quite great, but then when it comes to the most expensive, I don't know, gift bundle, uh, gift box experiences, because it's a bit of a rush and everything. This is where we see the quality go down and totally miss like the consistency. And for me, it's, it's a phone picture with a little bit of, I don't know, on the wood barrel somewhere because we need to show what we want to sell, but we don't have uh, the assets uh, to put it together on the listing. Um, and I know it can be challenging, but I would encourage you to not, um, you just really diminish your, your brand. Uh, and yourselves quite effectively by not making it um, consistent and clear. So that goes back, for example, with this example here, uh, the bottle shots were done easily eight months prior. And then six months later, uh, Rebucci came back to us and like, okay, now we're doing this special bundle for Christmas. 
Uh, we're going to have this bottle, this bottle, a little card. Just give us the element and we're capable of creating the visual assets from there, still without any physical samples. And just like a few more examples, especially when you have like absolutely stunning, you know, gift boxes. It would be such a shame uh, not to highlight it and make it really, really clear. Uh, other things we all know that wine goes well with food. Caveat, not, especially North America, not all wine drinkers, and actually like more than half of wine drinkers don't drink wine with food, they just bring it on their own, so we can't just assume. That being said, uh, wine pairing uh, recipes is one of the most searched um, query in our, in our world, in our industry. So it's a great way to kind of like rise up on the search, but also uh, to deliver extra um, branded value and branded content to your, um, to your customers. So for example, Outshine develops um, custom recipe depending on a wine profile and it's beautiful and the recipes are delicious, but also it's a great uh, way to also insert a short tasting note, a short like information about the wine and, you know, ideally go to the website. Um, what we see is wineries, for example, like signing days um, into uh, their gift, um, their subscription, uh, their wine club. So when uh, you open the box, you have these extra cards. Uh, this always made me smile along the same line, like really suggesting like pairings, and um, on the on the right hand side, uh, that's actually a lifestyle image by our channery. And then we have um, a, a, a drinker that just like, oh, got inspired and recreated it at home. Uh, and it was just like really, really fun and really meets where, you know, where your consumers are and stays that much more relevant and personal. personal. Which then brings me to like lifestyle images. The lifestyle images is really a great opportunity to showcase your wine in an environment, in a backdrop. Uh, the way our cherry does it, for example, like this image here, it's a composite. So in that case, we work with photographers, prop stylists, all of this, we organize the wall photo shoot, but the bottles that you see in here is absolutely um, CGI. Another way to look at it is picture the Hulk in the Avenger. You know, you know pretty well, it is added afterwards in post-production. Couple of other examples. Again, very product centric, very um, uh, like driven, um, and that's really important because really being kind of emotional content. So what I mean by emotional is in comparison to just the bland, straightforward bottle shop that we discussed earlier. Really, just pulls tugs at the heartstrings uh, as humans and consumer. So really combining both uh, just goes a long way. A couple of like other images that, you know, if you want to highlight that, yes, you have a sparkling, but it's not pretentious, it's fun. You can have it with popcorn, uh, you know, it's just like so then make it really fun as well. Uh, you know, did you know that you could have red wine in summer? Like it is not uh, a no-no and you just kind of like can speak about that. So this kind of visual content like lifestyle images are perfect um, for like website, website banners. What we know, uh, where they drive a lot of conversion is in email marketing. Um, you know, when you, especially when you try to promote like higher expensive uh, ticket item, maybe like bottles or even um, again, a gift one club or subscription. Uh, our clients are mentioning how um, their CTR click to uh, like their, yeah, their conversion rate is just like much, much higher. It's just much more engaging um, that way. And uh, just wanted to mention like, Bottles are great, but they can be of any shape and form. Uh, we even do cans and everything like that. And I've always loved uh, this stunning uh, product. Um, I, I, can't, I wish I could try it uh, that way. But you can see like right away, like this product would be totally decent uh, on a white background. But like now in that environment, like we, we can feel the luxury. We can like, I expect a high price point and I would not be surprised whatsoever. A uh, couple of other complementary images uh, that are worth um, kind of exploring again to kind of enrich this visual content for each of your SKUs. Remember, we said that at least three images are recommended to influence purchase decision. What we call beauty shots. Uh, beauty shots are super simple. They are usually angled close-up images. Right now, this one is on a black background. It can be on, on anything really. And the idea is to really highlight the finishes, all the care and the money that you spent, you know, printing those labels, 
uh, may it be with blind passing, cold foil, and all the details. Uh, and often on a straight photo shot, this gets flattened out, just the way the angle and the camera is. So it's kind of stuff like not like it's missing. So having a close up and a strong highlight really kind of helps um, highlighting your product um, in a different angle. I won't uh, be like sharing all, all the things, but I just wanted to highlight how we divide at our channel, like the three buckets, if you will, and how we qualify them. The essentials are bottle shots. More and more front and back, it's becoming an industry standard. Uh, so something to consider. And it is a standard because more and more commercial platform uh, like make it mandatory, like Instacart, for example, uh, or Walmart. Um, but it's also because consumers want to be able to read the back label where there's a bit more information. They want to be able to see if you have that B Corp logo, if you are sustainable, if you are you know, organic and all the things, uh, and that's often at the back. Um, lifestyle images that we review and also like short product videos. What we like to offer as well is, you know, for people that want to go like a bit beyond and maybe like a bit off the beaten path, you know, recipe pairing, beauty shot, group shots, and so on. And then on the on the right hand side is what we call like your wishes come true. And this is the thing that you may not think, you know, like top of mind that you need, but then when the need arise, uh, it's often quite difficult. So we also, for example, offer like ready to use photos. So think of it of um, I stock, but with really wine in mind. Like, hey, I want to really help sell uh, my Sauvignon Blanc and I want to do an event and here is a stunning picture of oysters uh, that can go. Or like I have a premium red blend, here is another image. Sometimes you don't need the CGI bottle in it. Like you just need, you know, something to do um, like social media and so on. Um, so that would be the third point that I would like to drive home, like really try to use a rich and diverse like, visual content, go beyond the bottle shot, go beyond sometimes the static image uh, and really like, diversify. And the reason being is it influences sales, like we said, because it really helps shoppers like consumers see why they should buy your bottle, how does it resonate with them um, more than anything. And what I would also can encourage you to think of is retailers, of course, right now, like they display all the images, but then when you communicate with your own mailing list, then you also have, if you have more visual content, you also have more flexibility to do this highly personalized email communication that we know, I know email is boring, but email works. Um, so if you, for example, if you know that I drink Pinot Noir and a Tessa is more a rosy kind of girl, I'm thinking of guess here, Tessa, I'm going with that. Um, How did you, you know? know? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, why should we receive the same, you know, image in our email, um, you know, email um, from you? So Tessa would receive a beautiful image of like a rosé in situation in her lifestyle and click that buy button. Meanwhile, I would have, um, you know, a Pinot Noir and maybe they know that I have a bit more money in my wallet. Like, oh, let's just go with the reserve Pinot Noir uh, and see how it performs. So I think that's really been, um, you know, challenging sometimes for the industry to kind of meet those demands of personalization. And that's something that I'm really um, um, excited about offering uh, at our channel because it's certainly like much more feasible uh, that way. All right, I'm almost done. Thanks so much, everyone. That's like a quick recap here. So one thing that you want to really consider is fast and guaranteed visual content. So our channel does it all online, like I mentioned, three to five business days. Uh, even if you work with your local photographer, uh, local photographer please check their, um, you know, their fast images. Sometimes hiring professionals doesn't always guarantee that they know how to take great bottle shots. Uh, you can be a great wedding photographer and not know how to do bottle shots. You can even be a great jewelry photographer and not do bottle shot. A quick way to look at it is obviously their portfolio and just like ask them, do they think of removing the, to peel off the back label on the white and roses? If you don't even think of doing this, it is not their expertise and I would rather walk away if I were you. Uh, allow, think, maximum flexibility. Uh, so really what really um, matters is to have the right visual content for yourself and marketing team, for your website and so on, totally on demand and just without the, you know, oh, I need to go to the warehouse, I need to 
rush it via UPS. I need to get the photographers. Photographer says that he will have be back at the studio in three days, and that's generous, and so on and so on. Like you can at the flip of the switch, you want a big award, you want to do a short product video so that you can promote it to your mailing list, you know, in a week time. That's uh, what CGI technology allows for. Creative freedom. This is really uh, what uh, I personally love. As I mentioned, I'm a designer by trade. So I like to think a bit sometimes contrarian. Um, we have fun sometimes even playing with the concept of gravity. It's like, why do bottles always have to be on the table? Let's just have them defy gravity and float in the air and just be a bit more like edgy. Again, for the brand, matching the brand, um, you know, the brand content. We see right now, I'm not sure if some people in the audience are offering this, but you know, lighter and lighter um, alcohol content wines, like, you know, lighter calories, lighter alcohol. Um, so it's just like, how do we creatively like highlight these unique features without being necessarily like the stuffy, um, you know, expected image. So that's really what I love with CGI. Um, we work uh, with, um, I, I can't remember how many photographers around the world, uh, and like they themselves work with stylists and pop designers and they all have the different styles and uh, we really try to push the boundaries or explore like what is possible uh, to communicate wine and it's not just for our own pleasure we found it obviously it converts to more sales like it stops people in their track uh, it just stands up in all the email that people receive or like the ads but it also and uh, we take a lot of pride in this like the the, the people that what it is we work with kind of like help them get a bit of a new spring in their step about like, oh, what can we do for marketing? Like, oh, like our journey has new options like every 10 days, more or less. Uh, we already have over 2000 options available on our website uh, that we call market, uh, where you pick your options. And it's really, really fun to also help um, unlock possibilities and spark ideas, if you will. And lastly, uh, future proof. Um, what I mean by that is, for example, the world of uh, virtual reality is not around the corner. There's still a lot to be done. But when that world is ready, our channel and the products that we work with will be ready as well. So we're really building assets that are in there for the long term. And that is why some of the people that use us, um, you know, they've been with us for over four years and they just uh, like maintain, adapt, uh, and they just like again, just through online uh, messaging. And I would love to encourage you two things actually. Uh, we're offering 15% off uh, for the people uh, attending this webinar, but actually Tessa, please open it up to Commerce 7 um, users large and wide. I know not everyone could oh, um, attend. <laughs> <laughs> and that's also for new and current Archery customers. Like, it feels only fair. Like if you're already working with us, you should still enjoy uh, a discount. Please, we want to work more with you. But if you want to see, you know, the magic for yourself, um, I forgot to mention it here, like Sting is the living, uh, we also offer like a free test shot. Uh, so if you go on our website, outchannery.com, and you can be able to see, and you would be able to really understand that we're not in the world of mock-up and compromise. Um, it is really like your bottle shot entirely uh, ordered from your desk or home office, wherever you may still be working right now. And that's it for me. Thank you so much, Lori. That's fantastic. And thank you for that great offer. Uh, we do have a couple of questions here. We've got time. So uh, Marianne uh, asks if uh, you can evaluate uh, their labels for what's working and what's not, like to get your expert opinion. That's interesting. Thanks, Marianne, for asking. Uh, that could be like you're more than welcome to send me an email, Laurie. I'm pronouncing it like that. Yeah, l a u r i e at outchannery.com. If you want to pop that in the chat, maybe test that. Yeah. Would be great. Um, technically, that's not something that Outchannery like offers, but I still I still have my own little design studio where I just accept um, occasional like design work. I still really love doing branding and packaging for wineries. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to kind of like answer, um, you know, that question from, from where I said in my, in my, um, on eyes, obviously. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, and Jeff says, unlike a single winery, I market up to 400 wines from different wineries. Mm -hmm. I'm struggling with getting individual bottle shots. Uh, oh, do okay. you have any thoughts about that? 
Absolutely. Well, first, I feel your pain, Jeff. <laughs> that, that's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, yeah. So we also work with uh, small, um, like, not small, like with distributors or like mark wine market spaces. So I don't know um, if that's your, your case, for example. Uh, and what we do is we offer like um, a sort of partnership where for any uh, winery to have the product featured, you know, listed by yourself, let's say, uh, like they will have to request a bottle shop by our channery. And it's kind of mutually beneficial. Obviously, there is uh, like a discount price. The image is then given, you know, to uh, the marketplace as well as the winery. So everybody wins and then suddenly uh, everybody, um, yeah, has the correct um, like image, yeah. So like we see that like quite a bit with marketplace. It's one of the requirements to be on the marketplace. Also get your image done by our channery, and then it all works. Mm -hmm. Great. And happy to again, like you have my email. Like really happy to also have that conversation. Yeah. It's kind of like a a co branded portal, and um, yeah, off you go. Fantastic. Uh, Natalie mm -hmm. says uh, between the subscription slash credit models what size of winery would you recommend get the subscription all right so let me maybe just extend it a little bit like the like your pricing um so we tried to make it as simple as possible even though it can be a little bit confusing at first the way we look at it is think of it going at the fair you know you go at the entrance and you buy tickets at the door and then depending on how complicated is the fair, like you have to give more and more tickets or like if it's a simple one, it's just one ticket. So the way we work and we use shine credit, um, one bottle shot equal one shine credit. That's the standard. And the idea is the more credit you buy, the cheaper the credit. Um, so we have, and then so that's like the, the basics. And then we have three, we try to really um, work with all the winery sizes. So we have monthly subscription. Monthly subscription at two shine credits per month. And this we find are really perfect for smaller wineries that just want kind of like on demand, like maintenance, if you will, um, shine credits. The advantage as well is those shine credits, of course, can roll over. So sometimes it's easier to put on the budget. Maybe you just put like two every month. And then come April, when you bottle your white, you already have eight in your account and you know you are covered. So it's kind of like a way to um, you know, stagger the cost, like the investment. Um, you can skip a month or any month at any time if you really don't need it. Just like click that skip button and you don't want to, you know, like you totally understand. By far our most popular, and even with smaller winery size, is a 25 shine credit per month, uh, per year, sorry. <laughs> 25 shine credit per year. And the reason being is we often start, wineries have to redo their whole um, portfolio, like all their SKUs, their bottle shots. So it's often, you know, like maybe 10 to 12 SKUs. And then they often want to get, you know, lifestyle images throughout the year. So getting 25, you get right away like a, a discount based on volume or during a certain number of shine credit. And you still have this flexibility to just redeem them as you go. One thing I want to mention, our channel cannot do those lifestyle images that I showed earlier without having done first the bottle shot standalone. I kind of call it casting the actor. We can't place something that we don't know what it looks like. Um, so that's like, a, like the, the first step. Um, and I want to mention like this yearly subscription as well. Uh, maybe the 25, the first year makes sense, but then we give you, you know, three months prior, one month prior, like reminder, and maybe like the following year, all your SKUs, your winemaker didn't go like over the top. Maybe it does make sense to switch then to a monthly subscription, for example, like you can at any time, you know, it's not that you have to commit. It's not like a cell phone plan where you just commit for three years <laughs> to this 25 shine credit. And Lastly, we also offer um, like what we call one-time pack. Sometimes you just want, you know, five shine credit, get it done with. Um, so you can just like do it that way too. Uh, so we have five, 10, 15. So it's a lot of different offerings, but our goal is to really adapt to the needs and budget of all the wineries out there. That's great. And um, let's say, uh, you know, someone got some credits and they want to switch to the monthly subscription model. Can that transfer? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. And then also what I'm going to mention is for all the wines on subscription, um, the shine credit would expire an additional 12 months after the first year. So technically you have 20, like two years to actually use your shine credit. Um, truth be told, usually wineries run out of shine credits more often <laughs> than the other way around. And we also offer top up. Sometimes you just say, hey, I'm, I'm finished my 25 shine credit. 
I don't want to upgrade, downgrade. I just need like three more for that project. You can just like top up. Fantastic. Uh, and then Taylor just asked, uh, with CGI mock-ups, how do you keep mm -hmm. brand styles unique and non-repetitive? Yeah. So it, uh, there's two ways, like we have two complementary approach here. So when it comes to bottle shots themselves, purposefully we try to be highly, highly standardized um, because the point is to really have your product, you know, um, fit the... Um, you know, like the the standard for like the for the industry. That said, if you have like preferences, we have some more you say we only want a highlight on the left hand side and not on the right, or we want it really, really soft, uh, we can make a note and adjust the settings for you. Bottle shots purposefully, they always have the same camera angles, they always align at the top. Like the, the whole point is a consistency uh, and limited parameters so that um yeah there's no mistakes. Then when it comes to like everything that is like lifestyle images, what we do is we track geography. So what I mean by that is, let's say you are uh, a winery in Washington state and you order, um, I don't know, like the recipe, the one we saw earlier, like the stuffed uh, tomatoes uh, recipe. Um, then this, once you purchase it um, for the next three months, that will no longer be available to the wineries in your area. So the idea is to kind of like avoid uh, like the repetition uh, that way. Um, and that goes for any uh, lifestyle uh, image um, so that you have like different um, different options and not repetitive that way. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. And then uh, what we offer in this more like be spoken on demand, uh, you know, custom uh, photo shoots or custom recipes, uh, you know, where we discuss uh, you know what it is uh, that you need um, to get done, and we can like organize a photo shoot with the CGI bottles in mind for your brand, um, and then place them in there. Often, it is definitely a different budget. It's suddenly your timeline is much longer because this time we have to find a photographer, organize a photo shoot, and everything. Versus the size images that I mentioned, if you already have your CGI bottle, we're talking three business days for you to review your proof. That's one thing maybe I, I want to highlight as well. Like we want you to be super happy. So the, the reality unlike traditional photography is you always have online digital proof to look at and to review. So you can be like, hey, you know what? My gold capsule is actually a bit warmer. You know, no problem. We go and revise and we won't give up until uh, you are perfectly, uh, perfectly happy. Uh, I would say 80, 85% of the time we get it right at the first go, uh, but then, um, you know, they often have maybe one round of revision, sometimes two, but that's pretty rare. And when it comes to rosés, for example, in clear wine, in clear glass, um, we always offer, offer a spectrum because you can tell us like, oh, it's a pale salmon, but even within that, there's like different possibilities and we want an accurate product representation. So we'll give you like four different pale salmon so you can pick exactly the one that you want uh, to match your representation, to match your product, sorry. And now, if I don't want to go to a family event, can you CGI me into the photo? <laughs> we're, not, we're not there yet, but you bring up a good point. When you see um, when we when you see hands or like people in the images at our channel, first we try to make a point to be purposefully diverse without looking like a community college brochure. Uh, but you'll see, for example, like LGBTQ couples, you'll see different skin colors. Um, but all of this, and that's extra work, all of these actual models that sign the release, like they are actually, you can use them confidently in, you know, your commercial, um, um, you know, communication without any worry that uh, there may be issues there. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but I, we also take care of that, um, you know, for the wineries. That's huge. Yeah, it, it was a, a steep learning curve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that looks to be it for questions. Um, but if you do have any follow up questions for Lori, uh, her email again is in chat. It's Lori, L A U R I E, at outshinery.com. Uh, we will also send a follow up email with the recording of this webinar. We'll also have Lori's slide deck, uh, the discount code. Um, and any follow-up you want to uh, ask uh, myself or Lori, uh, if you'd like any more information on Commerce 7, we can provide that as well. 
and also we have uh, other webinars coming up uh, this month and next month. We've got three others. Uh, so if you are interested in more of these expert partner webinar series, uh, we'd be happy to have you register at, at the next one. So I will provide a link to those as well. Uh, thank you so much, Lori, for taking the time all the way from France. And uh, <laughs> please beat that heat. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you so much again, everyone. And uh, yeah, looking forward to your emails and check out the website. And, you know, seeing is believing. Please feel free to try. And not only will you try the bottle shot, but you will be able to try uh, right after the lifestyle image. Like it's a, li a more limited experience, but you can really see the whole, um, the whole process and how easy it is. Thanks again for hosting me, Tessa. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Bye.